Hi, I'm Don Peterson from George Law. Now, I remember sitting in my dorm room at Harvard Law School. I got St. Pauli girl posters on the wall, a case of beer, some PBR on the floor. And me and my buddies are sitting around. We're just talking about ways that we could beat breathalyzer tests. <laughs> Those were the days. But you know, a lot of these stories are still going around. Are they true? Well, I want to look at some of them. Number one, sucking down mints and chewing gum will make your breath smell good and lower the results of your breathalyzer. Now, the fact is, look, minty stuff might help you fool the cop into not making you blow, but if you got a blow, gum and mints and whatever else you put in your mouth aren't gonna change your breathalyzer results. Go oh, fiction number two. Breathalyzers don't work as well on smokers as they do on non-smokers. Well, they, they may not but it's for reasons I can't pronounce. If, if you want to read some big words, go to our blog on the website and you can read it. But look, if your cop is using a cheap breathalyzer and you're chain smoking camels, it may help a little, but almost all cops use good enough breathalyzers that they're not going to be affected at all. Fiction number three, you can beat a breathalyzer by hyperventilating or exercising before you blow. You know, there's an old study that found that you can reduce your PBT by as much as 10% if you do that. But in today's world, you're going to catch your breath before you take the test. And gasping for air would probably tip off the cop. New breathalyzers are so good that these things aren't going to work. Number four, preliminary breathalyzer test results can be used in court. No, no, they can't. Cops use PBTs to determine if you should be arrested for drunk driving. Then they're going to take you back to the station. They're going to have other tests, maybe a blood test. Okay, number five, breathalyzers are 100% accurate. Well, any breathalyzer a cop uses is pretty darn good. The ones you attach to your keychain or have at home are less accurate, but they're not bad either. Fiction number six, the drunk driving lawyer you hire makes no difference to your results. You know, the fact is, your lawyer can make a huge difference. Click below or call the experienced drunk driving lawyers at George Law for the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Thank you.